Profile Sports is a television channel on Apple, Roku, Smart TV, or Amazon Fire TV. Like ESPN, we're a sports channel, but instead of watching professional athletes or NCAA college games, our heroes are the little guys just starting out, like eight years old, playing basketball or a team sport for the very first time, all the way on up to junior college or adult league sports. So grandma wants to see those games. So do college coaches. It may not be a perfect fit for your company, but we'll find that out soon enough because we're looking for companies who want to find our audience and make a connection with people who love the athletes that are on the field. Now, the reason that our audience so loves the players that they're watching is because it's their son or daughter, their grandchild, or mom or dad. And while my husband was the athlete of our family, and he totally understood the value of what profile sports is because he was the parent up in the stands trying to film the game, not miss a shot, all the while missing the whole game himself. And I discovered that since we began this business, some new technologies had evolved, and now available are these artificial intelligent cameras that you can install permanently into a gym. They turn on automatically, they film the game, and they track just like there was a cameraman. It's never late, it never misses a play, and it shuts off when the game is over and it's fantastic. When we first started out, uh, Profile Sports was a website that featured athletes. It was literally the athlete's profile and gave their history and some game videos their stats, drop-down charts. It was really quite a fantastic invention, but the market was really telling us that they were more interested in the video. It made perfect sense. So we pivoted. It just made sense to give the market what they wanted. The main thing that separates us from our competition is that our business model, instead of charging a subscription like we began with the athlete profiles, um, we started selling sponsorships and paying for all the live streaming through the sponsorships. So it was free to view. That made all the difference in the world because once it was free, everybody tuned in. They at least tried it and when they did, they would get excited, they'd share it with their friends and family. So we were finding that if almost everybody is, is using it, and sharing it, we were getting like 4x the audience. Now, our very first venue was the Sporting Chance Center in Tucson, and they have about 350,000 people that go through that venue each year. Then we added the lab in Chandler. It's another two-court um, facility. It, the, the athletes or the games that play there are a little bit more elite um, and a little more exciting. And the adult league games were very well followed. Uh, they've got a Filipino team, uh, I mean a Filipino league that is called uh, FABA. And they've got a following. We're getting uh, hits from all over the world watching those games. Now we're going into another facility. It's another four-court facility that will be opening up before the end of the year. And we have an opportunity to pick up nine cameras in New Jersey, making us nationwide. Now, we already have visitors tuning in from all 50 states, but it going basically coast to coast is um, really going to help us scale and reach a much wider audience. So I've told you a little bit about what we do and how we do it. Um, we are looking for sponsors that have a vision to reach this particular kind of audience. It's, it's families. They're passionate. They're focused. They watch and re-watch these videos. Um, and if you have a product or service that you think would resonate 
with our audience. Um, I hope that we can go through the offerings that we have. We've got a variety of packages and activations that we can do, but we're very open to customizing something just for you to help you hit your marketing goals. Um, if that sounds good to you, I'm certainly looking forward to meeting you in the next couple of days and let's go through that. I really want to hear about how what your challenges are and to see if it's a fit for Profile Sports to help you reach that audience and achieve those goals. So we've covered what Profile Sports is and does, how we do it, and why we do it. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about my vision for the future. Um, incrementally, we've gotten a little bit better as we go. We've got great quality games, um, but it would be so much nicer if we can add the, the score graphics at the bottom. Um, we can have, we can add color commentary and this all takes sponsors to make it happen. But the next level is holding that audience through the week. You know, most of our activity happens on the weekend. We've got all these live games going on and the kids want to go back and rewatch their games, oftentimes with their parents, you know, reliving the games on Monday and Tuesday. But to hold that audience through the whole week, I would love to add inspirational sports movies, um, documentaries all about athletes. See, I want Profile Sports TV to be a sports sanctuary, a place, a safe place where families can go. You're never going to see an inappropriate ad. You're never going to hear political talk and no news ever on this channel. It's just sports, and if that's for you, I hope you'll join us on this journey and deliver great content to a growing audience. Thank you.